Yes, the sentencing hearing for those state charges is expected to be raw, lengthy and emotional for some of the family members of those impacted by this racist tragedy. It's something, but for other family members, they say they won't even give the gunman a minute of their time. I have no emotions, no feelings. Left numb and angered, Mark Talley lost his mother, 62-year-old Geraldine, in the racist shooting at the Tops on Jefferson Avenue nine months ago. He will not be attending the sentencing for his mother's killer. It would be a privilege for him to hear me speak, so I refuse to give him that honor. Uh, he's beneath the lowest of the low, so therefore I don't, I don't need to be in his same presence. He is unfazed by reports that the gunman may apologize for his actions. I can care less about uh, the constant media attention and airtime given to him. Uh, I can care less about the apology. And called the gunman a symptom of the much larger issue of racism, which he says should be getting the attention. According to those familiar with the case, anywhere between 17 and 19 people are expected to share how the racist attack impacted them, directly with the man who's pleaded guilty to every charge. He's going to get very high sentences, obviously with the murder and the hate crimes. You know, he's looking at 25 to life on each count. Although there is a cap on how many consecutive life sentences the gunman can serve, according to two on your side legal analyst Frank Latempio, he added that federal prosecutors have yet to consider the death penalty in that separate case. But he called tomorrow's sentencing one of, if not the biggest in western New York, in a very long time. I think that the, more people are going to be allowed to speak than normally, and it's going to be a long, very, very difficult uh, sentence. Yeah, the sentence is, is, sentencing is expected to start tomorrow morning here at Erie County Court at 930. We'll have live coverage for you throughout the day. Reporting live in downtown Buffalo, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.